Here's a quick video of this transfer tank that we just picked up, uh, picked it up used. As you can tell, I uh, started cleaning it up and then um, thought I better document what we're doing. And so um, there is a little bit of a kink here on the hose. So I think we'll replace that with a, a 90 degree elbow and just have it come off going down and then we'll be able to, uh, it won't kink anymore and uh, then it'll, it'll help a lot with filling up the equipment around here. As you probably saw when I was showing the, the uh, tank here, it is a 12 volt pump and so we'll be able to uh, connect it to the battery that of the tractor or something like that. Okay, so we've got this thing hooked up. Just hooked it up to the RV battery there and uh, turned it on, ran it for a little bit and it does not want to, to pump. And so I put a little bit of uh, more in it. It already had some fuel in there. I don't know how long it's been sitting and uh, tipped, stuck a piece of metal under there, tipped it to the side over where the pump is and it's still not pumping. So filter could be plugged. Uh, the hose, that kink in the hose could be the problem. So what we're gonna do is we've got a little borescope camera. We're gonna stick that down inside the tank and see what we can find. Okay, so here's a picture of John. He's running the uh, my phone that's recording this down here. That's the screen of this thing. And so as we get it, see how that picture gets a lot better the closer we get. So we're just, this is just looking at the bottom side of that uh, gas cap. So looking underneath there, we can see the hinge or the spring really good. So kind of a cool little camera. We're gonna, we're gonna now stick it inside this hole and uh, see see what we can find. Um, try to get the right amount of bend on there. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like there is our siphon tube that uh, hooks to the bottom of the pump. Now, I bet we just don't have enough fluid to, to reach that. Um, trying to move this just a little bit. I can't tell. Maybe it is in. Looking at this, it looks like it is in the fluid. Yeah, I think it Would is. Would you agree, John? Yeah, I can see a little bit of the end. It looks like the red. Yeah. So, it's still not pumping. So, that would indicate to me that we have a problem with the filter or with this hose. And I don't know how much either of those two items are gonna cost, but John, kick the tank a little bit with your foot. I wanna see the gas and the diesel in there jiggle. Okay, good. It is, it's vibrant. So you saw that it was kind of splashing up around that siphon tube. So, it should be sucking up, it's not. So we're going to have to uh, do a little bit of um, uh, investigating. We're gonna have to go and uh, find um, another filter and uh, possibly another hose, or at least disconnect this one and try to put something in in its place inside of there. See if it's plugging up in the hose. Show them the hose there, John, the kink in that hose. Yeah, so we'll do that. But um, while we're looking inside of here, that's still, everything looks clean. It doesn't look scaly. Um, that's, that's exciting with it being a used tank and not knowing, not knowing what, what we were getting. Um, that bright light in the screen there, that is looking out of the porthole here. And so, anyway, pretty, pretty cool. Um, all right, we'll pull the, the camera out. Um, 
So here's the end of that. Here's the end of that camera, and uh, got a little bit of diesel on it, not too much. This camera is pretty cool. It shows here and has a light out of the end. It also has a camera with the light on the side of it. So if you were gonna stick this down a borehole or down a pipe and needed to look around, you can uh, change the picture to show there and see the side of the pipe as opposed to what's ahead of it in the pipe. You don't need to put me in there. I'm gonna edit this out, so. Turn it off. Okay, so we did take this hose off, and with that kink in there, I was curious how how tightly it was it was kinked off. So uh, John's going to show you the the uh, picture here of the bore scope, and we're going to uh, send that the bore scope into this. We go past the fitting, get down in there, and. Here we can see the kink, we can see the, the darkness, and what we can see is that air and fluid can get by there, but it's just not um, big enough to get, to get the camera past. And so I'm not quite sure if there's a way to repair that. I may just have to take it to a hose place, have them cut that kink off, and then put on a new end. So we'll, uh, we'll evaluate that. Uh, we are headed to the tractor supply store to see if we can pick up a new filter for this transfer tank. And uh, we'll price out some hoses to see what a, the cost of a hose would be. All right, so we took the hose out. It's not the problem. We took the filter off and um, there was a little bit of fluid in there, but not a whole bunch. So this is not full. So we're not getting enough pump up. The pump is not pumping. And we've confirmed that it's got, that it's got fluid in it. There's diesel down in there and the siphon tube is down into that. So we started taking it apart. We, uh, we took off the filter housing here and then Took off this elbow out of out of here, and now we're going to open up the end of this this pump housing here and check the veins, and hope that they're in good shape. So, okay, that that looks good there. That's good news. Um, the O-ring. I can see that here. That looks to be in good shape. And these veins are falling as they are supposed to be. As that thing rotates around. Okay. Well, I think that's all good news. I think. I don't know, I've never been into one of these before. Okay. Yeah, this pump does not have very many hours on it. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but you can see just a little bit of wear on both the leading and trailing edges of those. And uh, so yeah, not a not a whole bunch of hours on those on those things. Um, make sure that still falls back in okay. Okay, so that's that's working. Um, why is it not why is it not sucking up? <clears throat> okay, well, I guess my next, I mean, we could take this apart. Maybe the siphon tube is, is cracked or has a leak to where it's just getting air and it's not creating a uh, suction. And so we can take that off. Um, yeah, I'm not, uh, not sure what to do 
next. But I think we're gonna put this back on so that it doesn't, uh, so we don't lose any, any parts there, any veins or anything. So. So this is a fill right. I've heard good things about them. It's a standard duty, nothing too, too fancy. Pumps 13 gallons a minute, and that's gonna be sufficient for what we need. We're just using this to fill up a, a mini excavator and a, and a little farm tractor as needed. And so um, that's gonna be great for us. <clears throat> but like I say, I've heard good things about fill right. Here's what we did. We put it all back together because it just didn't make sense. We did try to fill the pump with fluid, thinking that it may needed to be primed or something. Again, I know that doesn't make sense, but we did it anyway. And uh, I had over here on the camping trailer, uh, I had disconnected the lines here, and um, John's gonna hold the camera now. So. And I had them just over here on the four-wheeler. And when I went to hook them back up, I looked at this and this didn't, this didn't seem to make sense. Um, the, the negative alligator clip was, or the black one, was connected to the black wire, a red one to the white. And so looking at, at the wires, I hooked this up to my positive and this up to the negative, which that makes sense for what I... Um, for my experience but then looking at the colors of the alligator clips I thought I wonder if this is the positive and this is the negative and if that's the case then I had it hooked up backwards and which means it was rotating backwards and therefore not pumping so we hooked this up to the positive this up to the negative let's give that a try okay so now they're connected. <clears throat> All right, everybody, uh, we got this filled up and everything seems to be working good. Got the tractor, we're just gonna top off just because I'm here, I was using the forks to get it placed. And uh, so we'll see how it works. Uh, the place I went to that I found some uh, off-road diesel, the regular price for diesel was $3.50 a gallon. Off-road at that same place was $2.85 a gallon. And uh, I joined the reward program that'll save me an additional five cents. So 70 cents a gallon off is worth the time, especially with having a transfer tank that I can go fill up 55 gallons at one time. So. <clears throat> much I had just recently had just filled it up and so pretty excited though I think that's gonna be a great thing gonna be a lot easier to fill up the, uh, this tractor especially the excavator that was a lot harder to fill up so I'll catch that on another video thanks everybody for watching um, 
I don't do this because I'm an expert. Uh, just I've learned so much from YouTube videos that I felt like it was time to to give back and share the things that I do. Hopefully, something you see inspires you. I get you to to go do something on your own. Uh, go try something. Make a mistake, screw up, and try it again. Um, but uh, just brand new with posting videos, and so if you're be so kind to to uh, subscribe and give me a thumbs up and uh, feel free to share them with a friend. Thanks.